Greetings colleagues, my name is Larry Stack and along with Dr. Brian Bales, direct the medical photography elective that runs from now to the end of the semester. We, along with course director Lisa Tarr and student liaisons Cooper March and Ray Zhao, look forward to working with you and hope you have a superb experience in medical photography and in the emergency department. In brief, the course description is an introduction to general and medical photography principles and techniques. However, we hope that you learn to love medical photography as much as we do and develop a skill you can use for the rest of your life and the rest of your medical career. You will become proficient in the use of medical photography camera systems. A simple system of a camera body, macro lens, and flash with a synchronization cord make up this system. You will learn about the nebulous photography term exposure, which is the quality and quantity of light that strikes the image sensor and how you control that quantity of light using camera settings. You will learn to understand how your camera actually thinks. You will learn the photography principle of depth of field, which is defined as the acceptable degree of sharpness of an image in front of and behind the plane of focus. We learn that aperture, lens focal length, and camera to subject distance all affect the depth of field. You will learn how to control the background control as to avoid distracting elements in a photograph that draw attention away from the subject. You will learn how the lens focal length affects perspective and can distort an image. Standard views such as like taking x-rays is a medical photography principle where when possible specific views at a specific reproduction ratio are taken so that over time comparison views will be consistent. We learn the concept of reproduction ratio and how it is applied to your specific body parts. You will learn the principle of informed consent and obtaining permission to take pho photographs for patient care, education, and research. You will obtain permission to take photographs from all your patients. Permission forms will be scanned into the patient chart. We hope you will develop a critical eye to recognize ways to improve your photographic technique to take the best possible and most accurate medical photographs. We hope you gain appreciation of the educational value of medical photographs for trainees, patients, and their families. We hope that we can ignite a passion for photography of all kinds in you. Chances are very good you will take a photograph of the quality and educational value worthy of publication and want to encourage this activity. No outside reading is required, but the Handbook of Medical Photography is a good resource to learn detail of the art. The website listed here contains much of the content contained in the book. One of your most important requirements is for you to attend four three-hour emergency department shifts with myself or Dr. Bales. Preferably, your first shift should be a non-clinical shift where we can work with you closely without responsibility of patient care. During these shifts, we will work on your camera operation and medical image acquisition skills. These shifts will be in the adult ED or Vanderbilt Children's Hospital Emergency Department. Dress professionally for your shift. Wear your badge. Scrubs are acceptable. Wear your white coat if you have one. If Dr. Bales or my surf is working clinically, please come to the shift at least one hour after the shift change as changeover is an important time for patient care. Medical images should be treated like any other patient information and are subject to HIPAA. We will place patient care images into EPIC. We will store medical images on Vanderbilt Box. You may keep medical images on your personal computer for educational and research use only. This is a list of medical photography equipment found in a camera bag on the APOD of the adult ED. It serves as a desired equipment list for anyone who wishes to purchase their own equipment. Grade of pass or non-pass is based on attendance to all your ED shifts and participation in the image review. Enthusiasm, image acquisition, and effort will be judged by course directors. Anyone not having fun will receive a non-passing grade. We're very much looking forward to working with you.